Ryan's finally able to bush hog and weed eat the front yard. It looks so much better. We don't have an actual working lawnmower, so we have to use the bush hog. So it's it's a little uh, rough, especially because the tractor needs a new radiator and it overheats in 20 minutes. So he has to turn it off for a couple of hours in between. Makes it hard to get things done, doesn't it, Daddy? Yep. But have to get good at multitasking. While he's taking his breaks, I'm able to give him some more holes to dig. He loves digging holes. Every project starts with a hole. So you're kind of like Don off of Dinosaur Train. You like to dig holes. <laughs> yeah. I love digging holes. <laughs> well, you only got 13 more to go. Only 13. At least it's not 40. <laughs> so he's got this beautiful ornamental elderberry and 12 blueberry plants that some of them we've had for about two years in these pots waiting to be planted so we are very very excited to finally have a spot picked out this ditch in front of them is going to be where we put a fence that's like a trellis for our grapes so it'll be super, super nice to have this done. And then someday we'll have apples and pears. We'll be whole orchard in our front yard. Not too many more holes, right? Not too many. Compost, it's wonderful. It has multiple uses. You, most of you know that my major passion is vegetable gardening, but it's also houseplants. Love tropical houseplants. So, just brought them out for the season. They're going to get a healthy dose of compost as their fertilizer. I'm going to top off their soil with some compost and water them in real good. out of house and home they cry for their food they want it they want it you want it, you want it bad don't you uh you got water in your bowl okay okay golly oh you have to have the same bowl there you go Wilma these guys are getting so big they're so fat. Yeah, you too, Betty. You fat, girl. You're so big. So big. Look how big they are. And they still want more and more and more. <laughs> they do not like the Bermuda hair. That's usually gone by this time of day. They're like, where's the alfalfa? Where's the alfalfa? It's in your pellets. Go eat your pellets. They have alfalfa. It's always so fun when you get your young chicks out in to the outdoor brooder where they can scratch and peck and eat the green grass. <laughs> they're so scared of me right now because I just transported them and they're like, why are you trying to catch us again? It's okay. I'll leave you alone and let you get comfy. <laughs> These babies are growing so fast, and what a beautiful batch of chicks this has been. Yay, got the brooder all ready, got it cleaned out, and ready for the quail to move out. I can't believe it's already time for those tiny babies to move on out. These chicks of ours just seem to grow so fast. I love growing baby chicks. Almost as much as I love growing vegetables. I've got them all out there. And they are loving it. If I don't go close, they are very independently searching and foraging for bugs and leaves. They've got shelter. They've got food. They've got water. They're pretty happy babies. It's been really nice today to have Ryan home on a Monday and get things caught up.
I was really feeling like we had fallen behind because last weekend was Liam and I's birthday and Easter, so we didn't get very much done. And then this weekend we had some stuff that we had to do off the farm and we went and visited some friends farm and got to see their adorable pigs and hang out with lots of other naturally minded moms and families and that was a lot of fun but being away from the farm for that long really feels like i don't know there's so many things i need to be doing but then i was thinking about it and i was like um yeah but rose you planted potatoes this week planted sweet potatoes this week. You had the kids plant their garden this week. You planted all these flowers in the vegetable garden this week. You potted up these beautiful plants from Stark Brothers that are doing amazingly well. And you got all of that done on your own with no help from Ryan during the week. I think I, think I can say I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm doing really good. So if you're starting to doubt that you're getting a lot done, just try to make a list of all the things you actually did do. And it might make you feel pretty excited about the fact that you are getting more done than you realize. Oh, these blackberries are gonna be the best blackberries I've ever tasted. You can see they're already setting fruit and they are absolutely drowning in flowers. I don't know if you can tell how many, but this is just a sea of white all the way down. And just below them, we have these beautiful strawberries forming, and there's more strawberry flowers opening. So we are definitely gonna have some fruit this year. Even the raspberries we haven't planted yet are developing fruit. So excited to get these in the ground this year. One of the most difficult parts of moving from a homestead we had built for six years was leaving behind all of our perennial fruits and vegetables and not being able to get them. I regret it daily. I actually still have a lot of trauma because of it and I wish that things had gone differently and that we were treated more fairly but we can't look back now we've got to look forward and we have so much to look forward to with all of these fruit trees that we're going to be planting over the next year it's going to be amazing there they are oh my beautiful quail these are all celadon blue egg laying quail and there's so many different colors I'm so excited to see how they grow out i love them we had about a 50% hatch rate on the quail, which is about average for shipped eggs. So I'm pretty excited and I wish I had more and I sh feel like I should have bought more, but I can breed these. I keep telling myself I'll breed these and I'll have more soon enough. That's the really awesome thing about quail is they are very fast to grow out. So in about six weeks, they might start laying eggs. Eight weeks, they definitely will be laying eggs and I can start incubating my next batch. I keep trying to capture these babies, but as I get closer, they run to the corner. Hey babies, will you let us watch you? You still spooked because I had to catch you all? Yeah, I was scary getting everybody grabbed. Oh my goodness, such drama. Sweet babies. And here we are. We've got all these blueberries planted and even some strawberries around their hills. Was it hard? Uh, there was one hole that was particularly hard. Aww. Yeah, there was a, a massive quartz rock. I had to get out the pickaxe and chunk it up real good. But Now that's a man. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't lying. He literally chipped away at a rock in order to plant that blueberry. Hopefully our super awesome compost lets it grow, even though it's gonna be blocked on the bottom. Oh, it's not blocked on the bottom. Now. You made it all the way through? I made it all the way through. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Find your Orion to break some rocks open so you can have blueberries. 
I don't have anything. You've got all that yummies. Ryan and I were just talking about what we were going to do about all this poison ivy along the fence line because we don't like to use pesticides. And we definitely don't like to use herbicides. We used vinegar at horticulture grade level in the past, but it keeps on growing further and further out. It really needs something to really, really keep it down. Like, you know, some herbivores. So I had this awesome idea and Ryan is implementing it. So we are running the sheep fence all the way up this whole section of fence so that they can eat all the poison ivy, which you see Betty is devouring. The goats ate it pretty far into the fence line, you can tell, and they've eliminated it on that side of the fence. So it is possible to eliminate poison ivy with goats. <laughs> what do you guys think? You like it? Is it yummy? I think it's working. They're getting the honeysuckle, the privet, the poison ivy, all of these invasive things off of this fence line. How long will it take you guys to clear this? All right, you guys, you see how lush it is? Let's see what it looks like tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to have to make sure the boys don't pet the sheep for a couple of days because the oil on their fur could could give us a rash. But it does not affect them. So it's a perfect cleanup tool. You guys are a tool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In that position, you do look like you could have some babies in your belly after all. I hope so. I hope so, Mama Peaches. We'll see some babies in a couple of weeks, if so. Farm life is never dull, y'all. I was just inside making dinner. And I got a Marco Polo from Ryan saying that he was scared of one of our ducks. I was like, well, wait. And then he showed me a video of a duck in the corner of the cow shelter. Hey friendship, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go check out this duck that daddy's scared of. I don't have any toys. I don't have anything, so I'll be Should have brought you some bread. Ah, that does look like a broody duck. Even the feathers are pulled out. Hmm, she looks quite comfy, doesn't she? So that's our anaconda. I didn't think she was laying eggs. So what happens? Oh yeah. Yeah, hello. Hello baby. What you doing? You got some babies in there? You got some eggs? Are they fertile? Have you been with Dr. Drake yet? I haven't seen you with Dr. Drake. What you doing, big girl? I'm kind of afraid of her too. What if she tries to bite me? I do want to check though and make sure she's even got anything she's laying on. I didn't think she was laying eggs. Alright. Okay. I got a stick. I know. I know. I just gotta check and see what you got under you. Are you laying on an egg? Holy moly, that's a bunch of eggs. Okay. Okay. She's hissing. She's mad. Okay. I thought Ryan was checking for eggs in here. So I'm gonna leave you. I am gonna leave you. We will get you a bowl of food and water that you can keep close by. Okay, mama. I just wanted to make sure there was a reason for you starving yourself. So, we will make it easier on you. We will try to make it stress free. We'll stay away and we'll bring you some food and water, okay? Nice baby, it's okay. Yay, yay, yay. I am excited. I would love to see more ducks here on the homestead. 
and being raised by a broody mom is the best. I don't have to brood them. I don't have to worry about anything. Mama will take care of it all. Well, ladies, I believe you have done a wonderful, fantastic, amazing job on this fence line. Still got a little couple of bites here and there of poison ivy to eat. But man, what a difference. Two days. Okay, okay, I'll go get your bottle. You guys are so spoiled. Look how big they are and they still get baby bottles. You're still babies.